Bible. That's what insulting the Holy Spirit means. Now, if you come along and you said the Holy Spirit does blah, 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 you're doing it out of ignorance because you're a Muslim. You don't believe in the Holy Spirit. But if you came to Christianity and you repented and you said, sorry, God, for saying this about your Holy Spirit, of course you're going to be forgiven. There's no sin greater than the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ on the cross. That means if we say there's a sin greater than, this is what the devil wants us to think. That means he's, he's limited. His atonement is limited. No, it's not limited. It's unlimited. You'll be forgiven for everything. Okay? And this is why you have to understand, Habibi. This is why Islamic, when I come and I read the Quran, I'm not going to interpret the Quran according to my own desire. I'm not Qur'ani like ultimate on the panel, which you walk up to him and you tell him, what does this verse mean? And he pulls out an interpretation out of his brain with no sources and you have to take it as if he's a prophet. Okay? I would never do that. I will actually go to the scholars and I'll read what your scholars would say based on the verse. Then I'll come and discuss it. Well, we have scholars too. We have church fathers. We have people, yeah, go ask a Christian and see what they say. And then grab that interpretation and criticize it and say, hey, what does your interpretation say? One, two, three, four, five. But if I'm going to grab a verse, I'm going to say, oh, look, you know, it says it's unforgiven. Jesus, that means Jesus blood is not enough for salvation well, that's your interpretation respectively uh you know the work of the holy spirit you have to understand what is the holy spirit like who is the holy spirit what is the role of the holy spirit and why if i insult or ignore the holy spirit why when i die it's not going to be forgiven me because the bible says you are without excuse oh man you are without excuse Oh, man, that means God will always knock on every single person's heart around the whole world and give him the gospel through one mean or some other. That's what I believe. I don't care what anyone else believes. I know God will always run after every single one human being on the face of the earth. And he'll try more than once. But if, God, if you ignore him, that's the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. That's where you go to Johannem. And we don't want anyone to... I understand. Right. I, uh, I understand. I gotta introduce. Let's say something, brother. Let's no, man, you're not my brother. Shut the hell up. So, well, all right, just let me say. So let me say something. Yeah. Okay. No, man. The Islamic, you're not the only Muslim on stage. Please let Ultimate speak, okay? She's not a Muslim. He can. Okay. That's your opinion, but he think, he believes he's Muslim. So there you go. There we go. Look at this. Muhammad, Moses, or Jesus, which one is the most important? Exposes every single one of you. All human worshippers. Oh, the Christian, I thought Jesus was God. Oh, now Jesus is saying, oh, who is Jesus? God? Is he more important? You are asking. Again, Christians are asking if their God is more important than human beings. Because nobody claims that Muhammad is God. Nobody claims that Moses is God. So if Jesus is God, why would you be even having those kind of titles? That's what you do. You discredit human beings and, and Sunnis insulting Jesus. Insulting. Allah said, Do not make a distinction among the messengers. Say we hear and we obey. And you say we hear and we freaking disobey. That's what Islamic doing. That's what any Sunni Muslim coming away discussing if Jesus is more important. Let, let, let me read. Don't, don't cut me off. I'm talking. I am talking. It's my time to talk. You can have the damn few hours. Handle it. Stop it. Let me, did I cut anybody off? I mean, for 25 no. minutes, I didn't cut anybody off. Bro, let me land and then if you don't you turn, you, say, you talk. Go I said, I said, bro, you see all you do? You can't handle the damn truth. That's what you yeah, do. You cannot handle it. Yeah. Go to, go to you you cannot handle it. I'm talking. It's my turn to talk. I'm talking. Go let me land. Go up and then you talk. There you go. Hey, hey, hey brother Albania, let him, let him, let him land this play, man. No, but he, his short, whole book makes, makes, runway. makes Messiah the, the God. Bro, shut so, the fuck up, man. Let me talk. All right. God damn it. I'm going to drop you, man. I told you not to use language like that. No wrong. cursing. Why do you meet him? What is this for? For one minute, I cannot talk. Does anybody do that to you go in ahead. my head? Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go and talk and be finished. Those Muslims. 
those who claiming to be Muslims, now we got the proof. In the Quran, Allah says, in the Quran, you hear comparing yourself, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amal. Do you know what it means? Is Muhammad included? Yes or no, Islamic. Is Muhammad included when Allah says, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amal? I just want to yes or no. Not specifically, no. No? No. And you as a Quranist, you can't accept that either. Oh, well, Muhammad is what I want to believe. Wait a minute. And you don't believe. And I you just want to yes or no question. You cannot. You can't I make said so Muhammad is not one of the believers. Okay. That's, you, that's it. Dead. Okay, I'm done. I just want to do yes or no. You said Muhammad is not one of the believers. Then Allah said, Yeah, you had Lazina Amanu. He's not talking to Muhammad. You heard it. I said, from I, 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 I hope you have to stop. Please record it. It is recorded. Let me land. And it is recorded. I just wanted to hear something. No. And it is recorded. So Muhammad is not among the believers. So Muhammad, Allah said, Amana Rasulu bima unzil ilayhi min rabbihim wal mu'minu. The messenger have believed what have it revealed to him. Wal mu'minun. And so do the, uh, uh, and so do the, uh, uh, so do the others. So he is. Chapter let 2, verse 4 and 5. Listen, listen. Let me, let me talk. Let me talk. Says, believers, let me talk. Obey the let prophet. Me talk, Wait a minute. Me obey me obey the prophet. Let me talk. Obey the prophet. And those you people see, who are in charge. One group of people. Let me. So yes. the prophet this is not supposed let me talk. to let me talk. obey those let people talk. who are in charge according let to your analogy. Let me talk. Let me talk. You're I so dumb, man. Swear to God. I prove to you that he is. Yes, because you don't know. Okay. So he obeys to those people who are in charge, correct? Why don't you meet him? Bro, I am literally I telling that, you. I broke you. Bro, I expose you. Let me, let me, let me accept your analogy. So let me tell you why you're wrong. You said, give Muhammad, I asked. And Allah says, Ya, you had lazina amunu. Oh, you will believe. Is Prophet Muhammad included? You said, no. I prove to you. One verse. Chapter 2, verse 25. Amana rasulu bima unzili ilayhi min rabbihim. The messenger have believed what have been revealed from his Lord. What mu'minun and so do the other believers. So he is. If Allah says, Ya you Allah Zinamanu, he's included. Do you know what he said? Chapter 61, verse 14. Ya you Allah Zinamanu, oh you believe, be like the disciples of Jesus. So the Christians are insulting Jesus. The Muslims are insulting every single body. The Christians are insulting others, their own God, that they believe is God. They're comparing their God to human beings. That's an insult, ain't it? Now you're saying who's the most important. How could it be that we are most important? If one is sent to Sri Lanka, one is sent to Jamaica, one is sent to there and there, how is it more one more important than, than others? No. Now this guy here telling me, oh, we believe in Sunnah too. Ultimate proof this Coptic, because that's what you got. All you got is a Sunnah to criticize. He said, oh, we believe in the Sunnah too. We believe in our scholars too. I've got one question for you, brother. If you believe in your scholars, why is that your scholars not telling you that Jesus is definitely a liar when but he I says... I'm landing. I'm, I'm landing. Ten seconds. Landing. Ten seconds. All I need. Jesus said in the Bible, the only true God in the Father is the Father. And every single of your scholars saying he's a damn liar, the only true God is a trial. And you follow them? You're a dummy. Tell me, why do you choose your scholars over Jesus who said the only true God is the Father? He never said Sarah, that. No. We, he never said that, man. First of all, uh, you have yes, a question, sorry. Ultimate. Can I answer him, DL, if you don't mind? Why? why, why? Okay, you can lie on, on the Please Quran do. because you, you, you are a hypocrite. But why are you lying in the Bible? You can't, you can't word for word, what you just said. It does not exist in the Bible. The book, okay? well, Jesus, Jesus, I That's a Muslim talking. A Muslim saying that Jesus did not say that the only true God is a father. His name is Islamic. Uh, here. Islamic Caesar. He said Jesus never said that. Right? And then and then he's gonna try to run, of course. Bunch of hypocrites, human worshippers. Hold on, Islamic. Let, let a Christian answer him. He's in another way, but you can't Islamic. lie about the like that. Islamic, hold on, Coptic, uh, go ahead, brother. Thank you, Lil Lil. So, first of all, ultimately, you made a couple of points here. Don't interrupt me, please, because I'm about to. Uh, 
about to show you a couple of things I don't that you're not aware of. Dummy. So first of all, you failed to make a distinction in the Quran between the things Allah is saying to the believers and Allah saying to Muhammad. You gra- this is weird. Now, right now, listen, he's going against, he's going against me in the Quran, on the Quran. <laughs> I was discussing a Christian, another Muslim, on Jesus, in the Bible. Now, the Coptic, yeah, listen to him. Grab them both together, and you assumed, out of your assumption, that Allah is basing everything of the believers on Muhammad, but you forgot that Muhammad himself is the prophet of Allah, according to Islam, and he has his own special circumstances being a prophet. So the fact that you've included him with all the believers, you've just desecrated your prophet, making him equal to every single Muslim without actually giving him a distinction of being a prophet. Okay, that's your first mistake about Islam. Okay, secondly, you have no idea, and I've got no idea where Jesus said the only God is the Father. Never seen that verse in my life. Okay, so I think what you're trying to quote was John 17 17, 3. Yes, yes, yeah, that's what you're trying to quote. Yeah, that Jesus, that he said, for you are the one, the true God, and, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. We believe, and you believe, that Jesus Christ is the word of God. So when you go to Psalm 110, and it's in Psalm 3, it says, I sent my word, God is talking, I sent my word that provided healing for you. So the word of God healed people. Does that mean that the word of God is separate to God? The answer is no. And when you read from John 17 verse 3, which I'm trying to correct your understanding, again, I know you're Qur'ani and you want to interpret the Bible according to what you believe, what your brain says, but when you read John 17, it says, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son that your son may glorify you. So, don't know which prophet has the audacity to walk up to Allah, according to your interpretation, say, hey, you better glorify me first before I glorify you. Never seen a prophet has the audacity to talk to God like that. And he says, as you have given him authority Over all flesh. You know what all flesh means? It means from the start of Adam until now, the billions of people. One person having authority over all flesh? Wow. He's just a prophet? Okay. Okay, he's limited and he's got authority over all flesh? Wow. Amazing. Makes sense. That he should give eternal life to as many as you have given him. Wow. Wow. So this prophet can give eternal life? I thought only God gives eternal life to everybody. What happened? Okay. Okay, interesting. I think we need to believe in two gods, Jesus and Allah. Okay. So as many as you have given him, and this is the eternal life that they may know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ. Not the only true God, full stop. And Jesus Christ. In other words, in your interpretation, that would be shirk. Because we're putting God and Jesus Christ. So if you want to use the Bible to prove your claim, you're not going to be able to prove it. Because you're going to prove that it's shirk. You can't prove it that it's one true God. That means Jesus is a prophet. Okay, whom you have sent. And then look what he says. I have glorified you on earth. I have finished the work which you have given me to do. And now, O Father, glorify me together with yourself, with the glory which I had with you before the world was. Oh, so Jesus existed before the world was. And then in Psalm, let me just give you um, one second. Uh, 
it's uh so it's in um psalm a hundred and let me just look at it quickly uh, so you understand what the one true god and jesus christ whom you have sent did i cut you off no in uh kumbala some hundred and seven Okay, I'll give you a so go to 100 and Psalm 107, because we read the Bible, we don't just take one verse out of context. Go to Psalms 107 verse 20. Okay, so you never bring that argument to a Christian again, yeah? So go to Psalms 107 verse 20, uh, which basically says, because I read it in Arabic quickly, He sent His word who? God. Okay, Psalm 107 verse 20. Put in your ear. He says, he sent his word. God sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. So when we say, when Jesus says, you are the true, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent, replace Jesus Christ with the word of God because Jesus Christ is the word of God. What's the issue? So if, I, if, it says, if he says, uh, the, you're the one true God and the word that you have sent what's, and, your, and your word that you have sent what's the issue? I, I don't understand how God's word can be different to God or it's not God or uh, I don't know how you actually you know, interpret that alright, so I'll tell you, don't bring that again Habib Albi, uh, my church fathers and uh, scholars never lied I uh, don't know, next time you need to bring a quote so I know what, what you're talking about. Nobody quoted. Everybody believed Jesus was God. Everybody believed he died on the cross in early Christianity. Uh, even the Gnostic Gospels believed that, you know, uh, you throw money was... You throw money in now. Yes. So, I didn't talk about dying on the cross or anything. You throw money. I said, he said, the only, who, the, who the only true God is. That's it. If you're done, you're done. Islamic, if you want to say something, go ahead, because I got to be part of If I can address uh, John That's 17, it. 3 as well. So when Jesus says, glorify me with the glory that I had with you before the world was, right? He's obviously pointing to his eternality, right? Existing before creation. So um, also the word Kai in John 17, 3, you're well within your rights of uh, interpreting this word as a conjunction or, or a logical connective according to the lexicon of the Greek New Testament. You could even put the word even here that they know you the only two, uh, true god even jesus christ who you have sent jesus is applying the same title of god to himself so ultimates just here uh with a lot of hot wind once you did, did you hear him say even jesus christ when when, when when it says the only true god is the father and jesus christ is the one whom he have sent he said, the only true God is the Father, even, you see how the Christian is changing, even Jesus Christ too. <laughs> not read the, the following verses that, that point to Jesus' deity. He just wants you to read John 17, 3 through a hole in a napkin and stop Ridiculous. reading. Um, he basically wants you to read like Muhammad did, in incapable and, and dysfunctional. So, I, uh, Travis, so I will tell you something, right? When you said even, right? So, Greek, it's... Uh, the word is chi, is, friend. Uh, yeah, well, wait, yeah, 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 I know. It's it's similar to my language. We're close, right? And, uh, yes, even Albanian, uh, Albanian Skanderbeg, even he can right now confirm, right? And that word, it's ele, and it means and and even, both. But how are you going to see the difference? You see that? now islamic supporting then even jesus christ is god that's what he's trying to do right is based on the context do you see that so this is why most of the bibles have uh, have translated that uh, and right because they see the only true yeah, god so here so we right? here this is we why can make the no, distinction when jesus bro, is jesus is pointing to his eternality he is by definition bro, God. Bro, uh, you can do yeah, that. Friend. Everybody, you got your time. Here, here, Everybody here. speculate. You cry ultimate crap, baby. <laughs> no, because that's what you do. You got your time. 
give him his time, and I give I him my time. I it. I mean it. The following verse. I gotta help Don't you stop. organize your debate. No. Yes, I could have done the same, and I will show you that I could have done the same. I, I, I didn't do it. It's my land. Defend that the only true God is not the Father. Now, 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 Muslim guy, I want to expose you on YouTube with that. Go, go ahead, Ismail. Go ahead. It, it, tell us what John 73 is saying. I meant to say. We're waiting for you. Uh, uh, Islamic, where is he at? Iran? Come on. Open your mic. What? Tell us. Yeah, you so said John 73 is not saying that the only true God is the Father. Go ahead, no, tell no, us. The, the, the word for word, what you just said, right? In the beginning, I said it doesn't say it because you make a claim. You said, you said that Jesus said the Father is the only true God. So word for word, that does not exist there. So what it what is what does exist there is that Jesus is saying so they may know you the only true God. That is what Jesus said, not the way you said it because you make it up. All right, if you're gonna if you're gonna quote something, go and read it and quote as it is. Don't lie about it. I mean, I I understand that you you have to do that in the Quran because your your Quran is kufar, but don't mispresent. The words of the Christian Bible. Read it. Read it as it is. You understand that? And of course, there you you can go and, and clearly see the meaning, what Jesus is saying. But Jesus is not saying that word for word. What you just claimed. That's that's the point. You're being hypocrite. You're 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 being deceptive, and a liar. <laughs> In the same time. Uh, All right. It's my turn now. No, it's my turn. My turn. I respect it. I depend on it, inshallah. I will start with the Sunni. I start with the hypocrite Sunni, Islamic. He said, word for, did I say word for word? I said, Jesus said, the only true God is the Father. Let's start it. John 17, verse 1. After Jesus said this, he looked toward heaven and prayed, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son. He looked at who? He said, who? Father. Glorify uh, your son, that your son may glorify you. For you, Father, you tell me that it is not him, Father. You granted him authority over all people that he might give eternal life to those uh, to those you have given him. Now, now, this is eternal life. That they may you, that, that, that they may know you, Father, Father, you, Father, the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent, you, Father. So Jesus said, the only true God is the Father. That's what I said. Jesus said, the only true God is the Father. I never said word by word. Or, no, it's like, not saying. Listen, no, listen. Please stop. I didn't understanding. Know, I, no, no, no. Oh, so let, let me why is it that all the time I'm you no, shut up, man? Shut up. Ultimate. Bro, Please. shut up, man. Please. I, 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 I give your time. I even give you time. I said you got bro, break. but hey. you are no, let me talk, man. I gotta answer others. Don't that, don't disrupt that's my field of thoughts. I gotta I, I, I gotta Islamic. answer. Let him let him finish. This is ridiculous. You can't because you're human worshippers. You suffer the truth. I mute it. God damn it. So now I'm oh, man. you were hypocrite when you hear defending that Jesus never said that the only true God is the Father. I'm gonna put it on YouTube. Now I'm going to I'm going to the Christians now. They said first, no no no. He said that they may know you. No, don't cut the don't cut the sentence. That they may know what? Two things. If you say that the, that they may know you, ultimate truth. And your daughter named this. They may know two things. That the only true God is the Father. And Jesus Christ is the one that whom, whom he has sent. Two informations. The only true God is the Father. Now you want to cut that off. The only true God is the Father and Jesus Christ. You want to know. That they may know. Or you want to chop out the, 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 the verse off. Two things, two informations that they may know you, the only true God, which is the Father, and that they may know also Jesus Christ, you have sent Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Two informations. You said, okay, glorify me. You said, Jesus Christ may, Jesus Christ may 
take people. Yes, if God does not glorify you, if God does not guide you, how can you glorify God? Are you glorifying Allah? No, He didn't guide you. We glory, we, he guide us. The glory of God is to guide you. Allah said He's the only one that guides. If He chooses and guide you, you've been glorified. And you said the glory I have with you before even the uh, thing was created. The word was created means that Jesus Christ exists now. The glory. If Bill Gates take a one billion dollars or three trillion dollars, put it in a bank account for my next son to be born. The money was here before the son was born. The son wasn't here yet. The glory is always with God. He can guide anything at any time. So the glory always was with God. The this guy was not there. Now, now you comparing the glory okay, and Jesus. The words that you say does up, not man. exist. I, I got to talk. I got things to say. Don't don't mess up my glory. You, 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 you go I got to I got to answer to some. Arguments yeah, and he, 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 the he diatribe here. I don't do that. Please, we be set up and let me talk. Hey, I got man. things to answer to. Oh, man. Hey, Perfect. Perfect. All right. So when he learns how to calm down and control himself, can I make? Look, look I, I, make, I, I, I have to say you something very quick. I gotta calm down with everything. Did I cut anybody off for twenty-seven minutes? I'm there waiting. And then we talking for how long now? For 26 minutes. They spoke most of the time. I did, did I cut any of them one time? No. I muted. I even helped them organize their things while they cutting me off. And now I can't. And now I'm, I'm being dropped because I said to the guy, shut up. Let me land. That's what I said. And he's going to say later that I, that I, okay, you're going to hear it. Can I make a map? No more, no more. You, you will, you will. I will leave. I will leave the room after that, right? So I, ha I have to say that for the audience, right? He come and make a claim that Jesus is saying the only true God is the Father. Now he's right? a Muslim. And okay. I was clear, and I says he never said it. His name is right? Islamic Caesar. He never said it in this case. The way he's claiming, he say. That's. Yes, he's saying yeah, that in it. another way, if you, if you go and read the context, that is something else. So my objection against, uh, against this, this idiot, right, is that he didn't say as he say. At the same time, like other, other Christians do, okay, and do cut, do cut off or take out of context and make it, it seem that actually it's saying exactly how it says, but you can say that in the context it, it means that. That is something else. But to make a claim that it's saying that, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. That is just the truth. Right? Yes, you can go see that uh, he's saying that about the Father. Yes, of course, but not to come and make a claim that Jesus said it because <laughs> those words, they ne it does, it, those words does not exist in the Bible. Yeah, they don't exist. Bible. The only true God is the Father. They don't exist. <laughs> In the context, yes. As as you make a claim, no. It's just false. Let me know when I can make my feedback. Yeah, so we need to push back on John seventeen so no no okay, Christians let me, are... let me give you my feedback. Okay. Are you are you about to what? exegete John seventeen one through three for us? Real quick, just John seventeen three. What he ignored is he ignored a few things. If he's going to quote John 17, 3, he first has to confess to us that the only true God is the Father of Jesus Christ, which makes Jesus Christ the Son of God. Number two, Jesus never said that only the Father is the only true God. Now, we know that the Father is not one God among many. Yeah, Jesus Christ never said only the Father is the only true God. I will say Jesus Christ is saying only the Father is the only, one and only through God. <laughs> God, of course the Father is the only true God. Oh. That's something Christians believe. No, you don't. But since the only true God is the Father of Jesus Christ. How about the Son and the Holy Spirit? So they're not, they're not only through God. Hmm? Oh, how about the triune? That's not only through God. Jesus said the Father. Not me. 
and Jesus Christ is the eternal Son of God. I'm gonna let him talk. That means the eternal Son of me. God is also the only true God. Because Jesus never said that only the Father is the only true God. Where is this at in Scripture? Nowhere. I'm in the audience He now. is forcing that <laughs> into the text. It's not there. Now all he has to do is show us this statement. It's that not there. Only that Jesus is saying that only the Father is the only true God. If he can do that, he's got an argument. If he, he, Jesus had to say, only the Father is the only true God. <laughs> so the Father is the only true God. Doesn't mean that the Father is only through God. This is ridiculous. Christian is going to come up with some he kind of stuff. cannot do that. <laughs> then he has to confess that the only true God is the Father of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the... How about the Father of all? Mary Magdalene, I'm going to your Father, my Father and your Father, my God and your God, the God of Mary Magdalene. The God of all the disciples, the God of all the world, the Father of Mary McDonald, the Father of the, all the disciples, and the Father of the whole world. <laughs> you, you don't know those verses, dummy? No more? No more? Uh, you don't know those verses, dummy? Son of God, and because Jesus Christ is the Son of God, Jesus is also the only true God, because there's only one true God. It's not, it's not, the Father's not one God among many. So to me, this is real simple. You see how he exposed himself? There is only one true God. Oh, so Jesus said that the Father. <laughs> well, it's not rocket science. And then he, he did not deal with John 17, 5 at all, because in John 1, Verse 1 and 1-3, right. we know that I'm the eternal this. Son creates that everything for his eternal Father. And the eternal Father because is I come back later, an hour, two hours later. So anyway, that's my input, y'all. Y'all got it. I got to get, get to work, y'all. God bless y'all. Yeah, it's, it's funny because this cannot strengthen the Muslim position, right? As you said, uh, Jesus is referring to God as his father. We know that Allah doesn't have a girlfriend, therefore he doesn't have a son. But there's also a couple more things going on, right? Oh, so Mary was a girlfriend of, a, of, of your God? That's why your God had a son? He said Allah does not have a girlfriend, that's why he does not have a son. Since your God have a, has a girlfriend... I mean, since your God has a son, so he had a girlfriend, right? That's what he's saying. Did you hear that? Did you hear that Travis? That's his name, Travis Lee. You hear him? He said, Allah does not have a girlfriend, that's why he does not have a son. What is he saying? Since he's claiming that his God has a son, so he's saying that his God has a girlfriend. So who is a girlfriend? Mary is a girlfriend of the God of the Christians, according to Travis Lee. Subhanallah. <laughs> In the opening verse, right? Jesus lifts his eyes to heaven. Remember, he's praying the high priestly prayer. Jesus is praying in a means by looking up to heaven and a method that Muhammad said, Allah will snatch your eyesight for doing, right? Muhammad said, if you look to heaven and pray, Allah will snatch your eyesight. So there's something going on here uh, that doesn't strengthen the Muslim position. Also, Jesus is the one resurrecting the dead in the very verse that ultimate's pushing back on. Who does the Quran say? resurrects the dead Allah does anybody Ta'ala. know the answer to that Allah right so let me go let me go one step further let me talk something just a second friend and this isn't merely God putting money aside for a future kid Right, Because if you read John in context, we see in John 6, Jesus says, I came down from heaven, not to do my will, but the will of one who sent me. Right. Oh. So reading John in totality, Jesus... Oh, not his will. No. So Jesus has no will. Jesus has no will. I can answer you here, you see. So Jesus has no will, but the will of the one he sent him. Who he said sent him? That they may know you, the Father, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you, the Father, have sent. So there's only the will of the Father, right? So the only true God is definitely the Father. This speaks of his eternality and existing with the Father as a person here. So, um, yeah, you're not going to be able to Travis, shoehorn your let, theology let me you, uh, let into me, the Christian doctrine. You brought doctrine. a thought to me I need to express. 
Jesus also said in John 5 that he, he does what he sees his father doing. For whatever the father can do, the son can do also. In other words, if, if whatever the father can do, Jesus can do, Jesus said, glorify me. The hour has come. Glorify me. So only then I can glorify you. So how can you say anything the father can do, Jesus can do? No. Jesus cannot glorify the father without the, fly, without the father glorifying him. <laughs> so you got the same verse is knocking you the brain your your brain off and he's saying what let me move this forward that's ridiculous wallah the argument or because i said so somebody shut up let me finish i gotta be dropped down because he is because islamic was telling you yeah. we don't use that in my room i said shut up let me you are disturbing the, my field of thoughts. That's all I said. And he dropped me down. He did the F word and all that. You you know, I yeah. nev why Allah, I never need you to record it. Okay, can I finish it that's, now? That's why That's why you got dropped down. No, I said, shut up. You're disrupting my field of thoughts. That's all I said. No, you used Good. the F word. So what you got? I never used the F word. <laughs> I said, shut up. You are disrupting my, when I use the F word, my field of thoughts. When I used the F word, you, you didn't drop me down. You dropped me down when I said, shut up, you're disrupting my field of thought. And this <laughs> coward, whatever his, her, her name is, is lying. Huh? What is that? Neon, neon lad, dang, dang, whatever. Stop lying. Bunch of liars. I, let me land short. I was on John 17. You said, it says, that they may know you, the Father, the only true God, and... His argument was like, and. So he's saying, the, the father is saying, he is God and Jesus is God. Then, then the father forgot to say, and the Holy Spirit, unless you are Dinitarians or Dionysians, this is here that they may know you, the only true God, so is the father and the son. Where is the Holy Spirit? Good question. Or he forgot. Oh, the father forgot about all this. No, I'm, let me land. No matter which way you go, this is destroying you. I told you two information. That they may know you are the only true God. That they may know that I am sent by you. Now, revert to, if you're going to say that this is saying the father and the, the son are the only true God. So the Holy Spirit is out. So your, your, your trinity is out. So slide the trinity. Go change it. Put the put the put the Holy Spirit in the verse. Then it's not there. You can't put it in there. One, two. What I said was clear. This title exposes you. You don't compare God to human beings. If you worship in Jesus Christ, how in the hell are you having a title that says? Who is the most important? Is it Jesus or Moses? No Jews claim Moses to be a God. No Muslim claim Muhammad to be God. So you're telling us that Jesus is not God by your own damn title. Do you reflect? You don't reflect. You're comparing your God to human beings. Who is most important? Who does that? Muslims Tell do that. Who? Muslims do that, ultimate. Huh? When you say so, that Allah, hold on, guys, please. All I'm saying is this. Let me land. Let me land. This, you know that's the truth. There's nothing you can do. There's the S word you can do about it. First, you messed up. 520. You messed up. Jesus Jesus just mute your mind. Just hold on, please, mic. guys. Can you please have some respect for your sister and let me speak to ultimate for like two seconds? Ultimate. 1 John 5.20 says that Jesus is the true God. So we read the Bible in context. We don't just pluck verses out of context and then build a theology around that, number one. Number two, you said that we make God out to be a human. But this is exactly what Muslims do. When you say that Allah is, is one person room? and one being, you're saying he is... Just remember that this is a Christian room. That's not a Muslim room. That's their title. That's the title of Christians. Muhammad slash Moses slash Jesus. And they put an or. They said which. The who is. Which is for things. Humans, you, you, you should have said who is the most important. Not which is. You don't even know. That's their title. He said that's, that's what the Muslim says. This is not Muslims talking. 
these are these are Christians with their rooms, the prophet the 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 prophet republic talking asking which is most more imp- who is more important is it muhammad is, or, or is it jesus or is it moses <laughs> Listen. exactly like creation so muslims do that not christians okay now you guys can go ahead and have a heyday with him all right okay. um, no 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 let, let me respond to her let me respond to her let me respond to her You addressed me about to her, brother. She was she want, asked me a question. She asked me a question. I will uh, answer her. I'm not going to forget the said, bro. I'm sorry. I go, ahead, go, ahead. Go, ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. First of all, when you mentioned John 17. You forgot and you don't understand Christian theology that it was the word of God that became incarnate and took human flesh. Okay? This is why in John 1 It's talking in the beginning was the word the word was with God the word was God it's meant to, it meant to. Yeah you should have wondered that how can the word be in the beginning it had to be God in the beginning John 1:1 should have said in the beginning was God the word was with God and the word was God not in the beginning was the word how can your word be before you <laughs> think about that How can the word of God be before God? Dummies. In the word of God, and then it says, <laughs> the word became flesh and dwelt among us. So when Jesus is referring to John 17:3, the reason why the Holy Spirit is not mentioned is that he's saying about him himself that he's the word of God that took upon human flesh into the world. Okay? So it doesn't mean the Trinity is gone because the Holy Spirit was not mentioned. You have to understand what Christian theology is. And you have to understand the context as to why God, the Word of God, took upon himself a human nature in the man Jesus Christ. Okay? So that doesn't debunk the Trinity. It's got nothing got to do with the way that you want it to say, right? You don't dictate what the Bible says and you don't say it has to say this the Bible in order the only for me God is the Father. to believe in this and it you? has to say it this way otherwise Christianity is false I'm sorry <laughs> to God. disappoint you and break your heart but you're not the author of the Bible okay yeah. it was God yeah. what it man, the the man. Man. you don't need to repeat yourself on me we heard you I'm not done did I interrupt you go ahead and you Go ahead. They, they repeating it, repeating, repeating. So repeating. that's the first point that you mentioned about that. So then we cleared. I can't believe you're still talking about John 17 when I spoke about it two hours ago. So obviously I'm glad that you're still thinking about Because it. Because I was dropped. Okay. I was dropped. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because you're swearing, bro, and you're using this. Oh, man, man, let me talk. Okay, man, let, let me talk, talk please. So that's that. Ah, number two, number two, your second point that you mentioned. What was your second point? You made me forget. What was your second oh, point? Oh, now, now you understand what being cut off. Uh, oh, oh, what's oh, the second point? And that nobody wants to know. Get out of here. I, I'm not. I'm not. My second oh, point was about not. how they make Allah into a, a human being because he's one oh, being yes, and right. one person. Yeah, well, Tipi already did. That's your second that, point. Bro. That was Ultimate, my second point. So you're the one point. that says Allah's one person. your point, Tipi. And one He's uh, asking about my second one point. One everything the way humans are. <laughs> so with all due respect, I don't mean to be rude. Uh, if you can understand God perfectly and you're limited, your mind is limited, and you can understand Allah who's, un- who's limited as well, then that makes sense. No problem. But with us Christians, we say God is unlimited. And our mind is limited and we understand that a limited mind can never understand an unlimited being perfectly, which makes our God the true God. But your God is a created God. And thanks to Tippi. See, now he said our God is a true God. He even didn't say the only true God. So our God is a true God means that God is the actual real God, that our God, Allah, is not a true God. Even though that Bible is saying in Genesis 1.1, In the beginning, Allah, in the, in the Christian Bible, in the beginning, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the heavens and the earth. 
You cannot run from Allah. You can't. <laughs> now you're going to throw the Christian, the Arab Christians and the Arabic Bible under the bus. Because to the Arabs, God is, Al to the Christian Arabs, or Arab Christians, God is Allah. They said, Masha Allah, Insha Allah, Subhanallah. Talking to who? Allah. You can run from Allah, brother. <laughs> now he's saying the only God, he, now saying the, the true God is the God of the Christians. But when Jesus said the only true God is the Father, they say, no, it doesn't mean that. But when they said the only, but they, when they said the true God is a God, is a Christian God, it means the, that, the, that, that the Christian God is the only true God. <laughs> she said it very, very well done. I don't even need to add anything to that. There you go, bro. You refuted. Congratulations. Okay, you can play smart. Uh, you know, I'm not playing smart. I'm going to show you that I am smart. I'm not, I don't play smart. Come on, that, come on, Ultimate. Give that, that, hey, let me talk. Let me trick him. Let me go. That's how it starts. See that? I, I, that's how it starts. Give me the credit. 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 Let me talk. I said he can play smart. I'm sure that he's not smart. Tippy says, Oh, Jesus said the only true God is Jesus. Oh, we got a freaking problem. You just read a verse that says the Father and Jesus Christ are the two only true gods. That's what he says. The Father and Jesus. Now is it only Jesus? Oh, we got a problem. Right. So Jesus is like he just he, they just claimed that the only true God is the Father and the Son. Now she's quoting me a verse saying the only true God is Jesus, just the Son. We got problems every time. Now now you got three theories. The only true God is the Triune God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. T.P. Bear came up with this that the only he says that they may know. The only true God, the Father and the Son, and Jesus Christ. Now she, said, she quoted me a verse saying the only true God is the Son. We got a problem. Is that the triune? Is that the Father? Is that the Father and the Son? Or is that just the Son? Now we got four theories. The only true God is a triune, the God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. They're trying to... To, 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 to distort this verse, which says the only true God is the Father, and J Jesus Christ was sent. They're saying the only true God is the Father and Jesus Christ. They're gonna, they they, they, they want to chop the thing off. They want to stop right there. The only true God is the Father and Jesus Christ. That's two theories. Or the only true God is, we said, the, the triune. We got the Father, we got the Father and the Son, and now the only true God is just the Son. Four theories. <laughs> and again, not only you were saying that there was a Father and the Son. No, 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 no. I ain't cut you off. I ain't cut you off. You are lying. I didn't say that Jesus is the... No. You said it. You know? Because we only have... We only have one God. Thank you. Thank you. You got to I let it talk. That's it. You can't take it. Yeah, I know. It's hard. I'm harsh. So, you said, everybody heard you. Jesus said, he is the only true God. You read at the verse, Jesus say, you said, Jesus said, and Jesus, and, you know what and means? And, one and. A and B. Let me land. Let me land. Let me land, bro. I don't have to say anything. I'm talking. There we go. That's what he do. And the Father and Jesus, the only true God. That's what you trying to imply. You started it. Yeah, uh, this this kind of interpretation is coming from you. No Christian ever done it since till two months ago. Started by who? Tippy Bear. Now they're saying the Father and Jesus Christ are the only true God. I said you forgot the Holy Spirit. Now we got two, three theories. Four. Tippy said Jesus is the only true God. Jesus said the only true God is the Father and Jesus Christ. And the Christian says the only true God is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Because we only have one what? God. You don't believe in anything. Now you're saying Allah said he's a person. One, one being. Where did Allah say that he was a person? Where? Why are you lying? When you show me what God, person is, Allah put is one. You said your God one is one. Right. One, one, one God. One God. Where is that person? Why you lying? You lied. 
Hey, listen, let me land. Let me land. So me of course, when Allah says he's one person, you're not gonna say I'll give you one. Uh, listen, listen. Bro, I look at you. You can't do it. Why are you screaming go. right now? And I'm down. I, because I'm being freaking cut off. And it's time. Yeah, I don't need to go any further. That's it. They, 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 they're gonna drop me in a minute here because I was cursing to this woman. I don't wanna put it on the thing. You know. I'm the only one being cut off. Language. Calm yeah. down. Fuck you. Yeah, I said that, and they're gonna drop me. Oh, yes! Not man, bad. they drop kick him out, man. Drop him, man. You're Make not a respectful bitch. individual. No, What's wrong bitch. with you? Thank you. There you go. God, this is not daycare, man. You need to. Yeah, shut up, bitch. Sorry. Shut up, little B. You, Nyla Dang. Shut up, you hypocrite. What the heck is wrong with you? You witnessed five, six, ten people cutting me off. Did I cut any of you off, dummy? You gotta get God, God right before we go anywhere. You even know who is God. Is that the triune God? Is that Jesus Christ, the Son? Is that as you now you claiming John 17:3 is saying, they claiming that John 17:3 is saying the only true God is Jesus and the Father. So the, so the Holy Spirit is gone, out of the picture. Or is that just the Father, as Jesus said? Jesus, Jesus said the Father, now the Christians had came up with three different gods. The triune, G Jesus and the Father, and Jesus. Three. Three. Three theories beside what Jesus said. Peace be upon all of you. That's what they do. That's what we do. We expose those hypocrites, the Muslims, Sunni Muslims, insulting Jesus. Allah said, do not make any distinction among his messengers. They're making distinction. They're insulting Jesus. They're following those Christians. They forgot that Jesus is a mighty messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah said to Jesus, oh, Jesus said to Allah, inni abudullahi. I am the slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm Abdul of Allah. Atani al kitab, he have given me a book, wa ja'alani nabiya, and made me a prophet in the Quran. And you're insulting that person? And you're insulting Jesus? Jesus is being compared to the highest, to the, to the closest, to the closest angels. Allah said, everything in the heavens and the earth is falling prostrate for Allah. So do Jesus. So does Jesus and the closest angels. And you insulting him. Blasphemous. Muhammad, Moses, and Jesus, or Jesus, who is the most important? Only, only human worshippers do those kind of titles. Anyone does this. You cannot be a Muslim. You cannot be a Christian. You cannot be a Christian because you're comparing your God to human beings. You cannot be a Muslim because Allah said, La ahadi min rusuli. All of those are messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَإِذْ اللَّهُ مِيسَاقَ النَّبِيِّنَ لَمَا عَتَتِكُمْ مِنْ كِتَابٍ وَحِكْمَةٍ ثُمَّ جَاءَكُمْ رَسُولٌ مُصَدِّقٌ لِمَا مَعَكُمْ لَتُؤْمِنُ النُّبِيهِ وَلَا تَنْصُرُنَّهِ قَالَ أَخَرَرْتُمْ أَأَخَّصُ مَلَا ذَلِكُمْ إِسْرِي قَالُوا أَقَرَرْنَا قَالَ فَشْأَدُ وَرَمَاكُمْ مِنَ الشَّاهِدِينَ وَإِذْ أَحَزْنَا مِنَ النَّبِيِّنَ مِيثَاقَهُمْ وَمِنْكَ يُو مُحَمَّدٍ وَمِنْ نُوحٍ نُوحًا وَإِبْرَاهِيمَ إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَمُوسَى مُوسَى وَإِيسَى إِبْنَ مَرْيَمَ الله said لا نفرق بين أحد من رسله دون make a distinction among my among my messengers وقالوا say what وقالوا say they say what we hear we obey and we and we obey and those dumb Sunnis saying we hear and we disobey peace be upon all of you assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh